Hey, how are you? Today's video is another helpful tip on skylights. And in my 18 years with Velux as a skylight guy, I've run into a lot of people who struggle with how to identify skylights to get them replaced and then how to measure them correctly so they get the one that fits properly. There's three types of skylights that you see in the marketplace. The first and the most common is this thing we call the deck mount skylight. And I'm gonna show you today how to measure the Velux skylight specifically. First thing is the Velux skylight. Now these are the actually the easiest ones to measure for replacement. There's three things that you can do to get the right one in this case. The first is if you just very simply measure the exposed glass on any Velux skylight, this says 18 and a quarter in width length is 43 and 5 sixteenths. If you take those dimensions and enter them into the replacement calculator, you'll see the link scroll across the bottom here in just a moment. It'll tell you exactly what it is and what you need to replace it with. Now another simple tip to find a replacement for a Velux is to just find the metal tag. And in fixed skylights, that metal tag is always stapled in the bottom right corner if you're standing on the roof you'll be able to see that tag right there. To write down the information. We can tell you what it is and the year that it was made so that you can get it replaced. And then the third thing, we also stamp some similar information on the spacer bar between the two pieces of glass. And usually that information is up here in the upper right corner. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's on the top spacer bar. We just, again, write that information down and I can tell you the year it was made and the size of skylight and the model that it is. Now, the big question I get is, how do you tell a Velux skylight? Two key things to look for. One, in the upper right corner, etched in the glass, it has our name. Now, that information doesn't tell us anything else about the window other than the fact that it's a Velux. That information is from the glass manufacturer. So that doesn't help us tell you the size or the year. If that's not there, the thing to really look for is the way the head flashing wraps over the top of the unit. And if you look at this detail here, you'll see that this particular product has the head flashing over. That's a very unique feature to Velux products. So if you see that, no matter which version or how old it is, you'll know it's a Velux. Now, how do we get these covered by insurance? A couple quick things to look for here. Damage to the cladding or to the glazing profile, which is this metal part right on the glass. Now, if I pull this apart and I've removed the screws to show you what this is, this is the cladding. And then this metal part here is the glazing profile. If you see a dent here, no matter which version, and you know it's gonna get covered by insurance, that part can't be replaced. And we'll get you the letter that states parts availability so that you can get them all covered. Okay, so one of the big questions I get is, how do you tell the difference between a deck mount, a curb mount, or a self-flash skylight? And the easiest way to do is to look for the step flashing on the side of the skylight. So if you look at this detail here, you can see that there's baby tins for every course of the shingle going all the way up the skylight. That's your cue or your indication that you're working with a deck mount skylight. And so then you'll know exactly how to measure it especially if it's not a Velux. All right, let's say you've determined that you have a deck mount skylight, but it's not a Velux. And you know it's a deck mount because of the baby tins on the side like we just looked at. So how do you measure that for replacement? Well, the key to replacing a deck mount skylight is to know what the rough opening is. But you can't figure out what the rough opening is until you take the skylight out, so you got a little bit of a quandary, right? Well, let me show you a quick trick. If you can measure the finished drywall and then add for the thickness of the drywall, and I like to use a half inch for each side, all four sides all the way around, because it makes the math easy. Um, you should be able to figure out what the rough opening is, and then go to the catalog and find the right skylight to fit that hole. So let me show you a quick trick from the roof, so you don't have to go inside. If you can just guesstimate where that drywall is behind the skylight, in this case, I'm looking at about, I'm gonna call this 20 inches. 
If I add the inch, half inch on each side, that means the rough opening width is 21 inches, and then you do the same for the length. And then use that as your rough opening. Like I said, go to the catalog. You'll find something that can fit that opening most of the time. I hope you found this helpful. If you scroll through uh, my LinkedIn page, you'll see a few other tips too uh, that will help you make some more money with skylights. Connect with me here. I'm based in the Chicago market, but if you're not in Chicago, Velux has reps all over the country. So just shoot me a message and you need some help locally, I can connect you with your local Velux guy. Thanks for watching today. Really appreciate your business and make it a great day.